Today I will show you how to dual boot Ubuntu and Windows 7. This will install Ubuntu side by side with Windows 7, giving you the choice, when you start your computer, whether to boot Ubuntu or Windows 7. To begin, put your Ubuntu CD in your CD drive and reboot your computer. You will need to get to your computer's boot menu. For my computer, I press F12. Once at the boot menu, arrow down to boot from the CD. Your boot menu may look a little different. Ubuntu will then boot from the CD. Keep in mind, it will take some time, as it is running off a CD. Once Ubuntu boots, you will see the Ubuntu welcome screen. You will have the option to test out Ubuntu or install Ubuntu. If you choose to test Ubuntu, you can test it out before installing. A live environment will load for you to play around with. This will make no changes to your computer's hard drive. When you are ready to install, just click the install icon on the desktop. For this video, I will just go ahead and click install from the welcome screen. The installation wizard will then guide you through the installation process. The first screen is a preparation screen. It makes sure you have enough hard drive space, you are connected to a power supply, and you are connected to the internet. It also gives you the option to install any updates that have been released in some third-party software. I will leave the extra stuff unchecked, just to make this faster. I would recommend you check those boxes though. Click forward when ready. The next screen you will choose how you want to install Ubuntu. You can install it alongside another operating system or erase the whole hard drive and install Ubuntu. Since we are doing a dual boot, we will leave the first option selected to install alongside another operating system. Click forward. The next screen is where you will allocate how much hard drive space you want to give Ubuntu. Drag the slider to choose the amount. I will choose an even split of the hard drive for Ubuntu and Windows 7. Then click Install. Press continue to confirm. This will take some time, as it partitions your hard drive. Once the install begins, the installer will guide you through setting up all the user settings. The first screen is where you choose your location. Click forward. Next, choose and test your keyboard. Click forward. The next screen is where you set up your user account, computer name and password. You can also choose to have your computer log in automatically without the need of a password. Furthermore, you can password protect your home folder. Click forward. 
After that, you are all done. Just sit back and watch the slideshow while you wait for the install to finish. Once the installation is finished, restart your computer. Once your computer reboots, you will see this screen. Don't worry. Your computer is not broken. This is Ubuntu's grub menu, or boot menu. This is where you choose whether to boot Ubuntu or Windows. I will arrow down to boot windows first. The first time you boot windows, it will be, oh no, what did you do? It will want to check the file system. Just wait for it to finish. There you go. Windows is fun. Well, that was fun. Bye bye windows. We will now choose to boot into the freshly installed Ubuntu. Click on the user, enter the password you gave during the installation and log in. You now have Ubuntu installed on your computer. Thanks for watching. Please comment, thumbs up, and subscribe.